today we're going to do another cooking video. I told you on the last one that I've been getting requests, so we're going to try to do a few more. And so this one is on the uh, jalapeno pepper poppers uh, that we talked about in the hot wing video I posted earlier this week. So I promised I was going to start doing two to three videos a week, plus shorts and lives if I had the time. And so that's what we're going to do. So let's get started with today's video on my personal uh, recipe and, and techniques of cooking uh, jalapeno pepper poppers on a pellet smoker. I've got a dozen big stuffing size jalapeno peppers and this is something I bought years ago. It's stainless steel, you can put it on any smoker grill, it's, I don't care what kind of heat you put on it. It's even got a little jalapeno pepper cut out of it in there and holds 12 jalapeno peppers just like so. Stuff them down in there and they cook them. So I'll explain all that in a minute. But it came with a uh, a little serrated knife about this big, like a steak knife, but it was twisted and spiraled. And you could just cut the end of this pepper off like so, and stick that thing down in there and pull the whole plug out, just rinse the seeds, no problem. Well, somewhere in translation or transition or whatever on our move, I have misplaced that little tool. So we're going back to old school butter knife it's easily done. It's just I don't want to poke holes in my jalapeno because I'm going to put stuff in it. I'll explain that in a minute too. Uh, most people, I don't say most people, a lot of people have gotten where they put cream cheese in a jalapeno pepper. My mom always told me if I can't say nothing nice, don't say nothing at no. all. But I ain't got nothing nice to say about putting cream cheese in a jalapeno pepper. Cheese, real cheese, or synthetic, not cream, freaking cheese. Please don't do that. So, but if you'd like to have more power to you, you can keep the cream cheese company in business by eating cream cheese on all your stuff. So, anyway, we got that pretty well hulled out, and we'll rinse the seeds out of it. And I'm gonna explain what I'm doing here before I, I go any further. I'll get all these cleaned out and rinsed and get them stuck in the holder there the way they go. But what I'm going to show you now is I take Belveda cheese and put it in a microwave proof glass bowl. Now that's a pretty good chunk, about a, maybe a quarter of a, of a block of it, you know. <clears throat> and I know, pasteurized, processed, man-made trash, it ain't real cheese, but it ain't freaking cream cheese either. So now that we're past that. So everybody usually stuffs their pepper full of cream cheese, real cheese, cheddar cheese, whatever makes you happy. And then they wrap it in bacon, see? And then they dip it in ranch dressing. So again, I had the idea of just taking care of all that crap in one, and everybody loved these. Ranch dip mix, not the salad dressing, mix, dip mix, okay? You get one package of that, I said about a quarter of a of a block of uh, Velveeta cheese, original Velveeta, pre-cooked, ready-made, real bacon bits, okay? And what we're gonna do is when I get all these pe peppers hulled out, seeded and washed, I'm gonna dump this whole package of ranch dip mix in the bowl with the cheese, and I'm gonna dump a whole bunch of these uh, this pre-cooked, uh, real bacon in there with it. So. You have basically your ranch dipped to dipping in and your bacon and your cheese all inside the pepper. And I'm telling you, when you cook it till that pepper is tender, when you slice it open, it is the best stuffed jalapeno pepper I have ever had. And everybody that's had them that I know personally has said the same thing. They just, even some people when you meet peppers, they love these. So, um, actually the, the, um, chicken wings we did a while ago, they're on a smoker now. So um, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do the chicken wings, and we're gonna do the stuffed peppers, all my style. Uh, and then we're gonna do Mexican street corn. So me and the boys are all gonna have all three of those tonight for supper. But I'm gonna put the videos up. I'll do the chicken wing video, hot wings, whatever you wanna call it. Then I'll do the stuffed jalapeno pepper video, and then I'll do the street corn video. I'll do them separately because otherwise it'd be a really long-winded video and I'm having trouble getting people to watch stuff to the end for some reason. I guess people's attention span is this big anymore. 
uh, even if it's a good video. So I'm, I'm, my goal is to put shorter videos, just one recipe, and you know, start to finish and how it's done, and have a little taste test at the end, and I really think it'll get more attention that way. So anyway, we're gonna get back to this, and uh, we'll show y'all the next step in just a second. All right, y'all, we got it all mixed up. Now, if you've done much jalapeno pepper cutting or any kind of hot peppers, you'll know. Put them bad boys on. You don't be scratching your behind or your eyeball or nothing else later on. Stick your finger in your nose. I mean, you know, <laughs> shit, I'm telling you, it's bad stuff. <clears throat> Cameraman's giggling, so I hope it wasn't shaking too bad. So, anyway, this is what you want, consistency. See there? It's just straight Velveeta cheese, about a quarter block, a half a bag of that, that real, uh, pre-cooked uh, bacon bits and one package of uh, Hidden Valley Ranch dip mix. And it comes out kind of pasty and that's exactly what you want so you can stuff it into peppers. Uh, I've already got one pepper stuffed. Got my nose running, my sinuses, all these hot pepper and stuff. Ain't that pretty? Look at that, man. Woo! That's a big old nasty pepper too, boy. Big dog. I'm going to something bigger than that. Uh, here's what you do. Just take you, just a butter knife. Be gentle. Stuff it all the way down in the bottom. You want to get this thing completely full, if all possible, to have your best results. <clears throat> I don't. I got my sinuses all stirred up, boy. You know it's gonna be good when that happens. Stuff right here. That's a colon cleanser is what that is right there. <laughs> uh, you kind of force them down in them little holes to make them sit there nice and pretty. They'll sit there and behave themselves. They won't fall over in the cooker. <clears throat> so you get the basic idea of what I'm doing. I'm sure you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to step up a little closer with, to finish this one off. Just wipe it on the side and just kind of press it down in there and get all the air out of it. There ain't nothing to that, man. You can have a four-year-old do that right there. Boom. Now I'm gonna finish doing this <clears throat> while y'all do something else, and I'll be right back. This thing will hold 20 peppers, and I only bought 12, because I dove through the whole pile at Walmart in the produce section, and I got the 12 biggest ones. If you're gonna do these, do the big ones. So anyway, check that out, man. Ain't that beautiful? Now, when you do these and, and you stuff them full of whatever cheese you're going to do and you wrap them in bacon, you got to put all them freaking toothpicks in there, hope it don't, you know, come apart. And that either the pepper gets done too fast and the bacon's raw, or the bacon burns and the pepper's not soft. You can eliminate all that nonsense with this right here. Put the cheese, the ranch dip mix, and the bacon bits inside this pepper. And you just cook it low and slow until that pepper gets soft and tender. And once you take the seeds out of it, and hull everything out and rinse it with cold water and to do it like this these are i don't care how big the peppers are as long as they haven't turned red these will be the most delicious jalapeno stuffed peppers you ever had because they'll be tender everything will be juicy and and it knocks a lot of the heat out of them when you slow cook them so come on go with me out here and uh, we're gonna put these on the pellet cooker Put these on there. My wings at 185, so we're gonna set this down and then cut the camera off. I can put it in here. And we're gonna go back and get the the big tray to bring the uh, chicken back in. And so I'm, I'm mixing and matching three different videos all at once here, but I know how to figure it out on the editing, so you gotta worry about that. Check it out. Ooh, look at it pop wing. Oh yeah, them puppies is ready and hot. Lord Jesus, all right, let's go in the house and uh, that was hot. Let's go in the house and get the pan, we'll get these off and we'll move the peppers closer to this other end and then we will start the uh, 
shrink cone, make the shrink cone. But remember, we're going to do the chicken wing video first. Then we're going to do one or the other. I don't know which way it's going to fall. Y'all can tell me in the comments once this one airs if you want to see the jalapeno poppers next or the Mexican trick cone. So we're fishing it right back at it. The grill got a little too hot on me. I was too busy with stuff in my face with chicken wings, to be honest. And my peppers are just right. They're really soft, but they started getting so soft they falling off the rack. So I'm gonna pick them up and we'll take them inside. Let y'all have a look. We'll cut into one of them, have a taste test, see what you think. These things are just phenomenal. I'm gonna turn the smoker off. It takes this thing a while to power down. Stuff, man, I'm telling you. Should have been keeping a better eye on them. It's my fault. But, you know, we all make mistakes. And in the end, it's still gonna taste like a million bucks. I guarantee you. Alright. Check it out. Let's go inside and have a look. See what they do. Look like. Check this out. Just cut that pepper up. And that is a bad to the bone stuff pepper. Look the juice flying out of it. It's gonna be hot. I don't know if I can take a good bite right now or not, but we're gonna we're gonna try. to make these at home yourself email me uh, message me on on messenger uh, Facebook uh, comment on the below on the uh, YouTube channel I'm telling you that stuff right there is good to eat hmm you need about itself it makes a great side from a big bad to bone ribeye to cook right so there you go there's your jalapeno pepper video uh, then the way I do it I don't know anybody's ever done it that way that's just something I made up so I hope y'all enjoy it and I'm gonna sit here and finish this bad boy off and I'll see y'all next time hope y'all enjoyed that video as much as I did making it as much as I did eating the what was what we cooked you know so, like I said, I'm going to end every video for a little while like this. Um, I'm trying to grow the channel. And the only way for the channel to grow is for people to watch the videos. I need more watch hours. I need more subscribers. Um, you can subscribe. Uh, you can like the videos. You can comment on them. You can share them. Uh, you click the little notification bell up there uh, so you don't miss any new uploads at any given time during the week go back and watch some of my older videos see what you think about those so the more they get watched the better i'm going to do to uh, meet all the criteria that youtube requires of me so if y'all would be kind enough to do that i'm going to keep posting these videos if you want to see more cooking videos you want to see uh, recipes wild game cooking uh, you want to see more hunts more fishing uh, tips and how-to things um, 
meat processing because I have my own commercial uh, seasonings for meat processing, uh, cover scents, attractants, uh, apparel, hats, shirts. I'm, I'm fixing to get my new li uh, online store set back up, so that's coming real soon. So anyway, uh, please watch, please subscribe, share them with your friends, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank y'all very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.